tree diagrams are another useful tool for finding the sample space and also analyzing experiments when you have a sequence of events. So for example here, we want to flip a fair coin three times. And we want to know what's the probability of getting exactly one head out of those three flips. So with a tree diagram here, our first toss, we could either get heads or tails. So I've got a, a split in my branches here, and I could get heads or tails on the first toss. So the first level of the tree is the first toss. If I get heads on the first, uh, first toss, I could get either heads or tails on the second toss. So I've got a branch splitting the heads and tails there. And then if I get tails first, I could get heads or tails on the second toss. So this is our second toss. And then for the third toss, I'll have a third level of the tree. So if I get heads on the first, heads on the second, then I could get heads or tails on the third. If I get heads on the first, tails on the second, I could get heads or tails on the third. If I get tails on the first, heads on the second, I could get heads or tails on the third. If I get tails on both the first two flips, I could get heads or tails on the third. So now our outcomes, we just follow uh, the branches down to um, the last letter here. So we could get heads, 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 so three heads. So again, this means heads on the first, heads on the second, and heads on the third. So that's what that uh, abbreviation means. Heads on the first, heads on the second, tails on the third, HHT. Uh, we could get heads first, tails second, heads third, HTH. Heads first, tails second, tails third, HTT. Tails first, heads second, heads third, THH. Uh, tails first, heads second, tails third, THT. And then tails, tails, heads. Uh, or all three tails. Now this is a fair coin, so it's a 50-50 split here at each uh, branch of the tree. So these eight possibilities should all be equally likely. So one-eighth chance for each. We want to know what's the probability of getting exactly one head. So how many of these possibilities have exactly one head? So probability of one head is going to equal desired out of total. So uh, two heads there, two there, one head here. Uh, two heads there, one head here, exactly one, and one head here. So that's three possibilities out of eight. So three eighths chance that we would get exactly one head from tossing a fair coin three times. And again, this is desired out of total because it is an equally likely sample space.